flow has been designed to open up the chest, mobilize the shoulders and stretch off the arms, helping you to recover after a heavy upper body workout. So when you're ready, find some space on the floor or grab your mat and join me. All you're gonna need for this session is a strap if you have one. If you don't have one, a PVC pipe, or um, a jumper or some leggings even will do. Um, so basically we're gonna start with the strap first. So grab your strap, wrap um, a part of the strap around one hand and hold the other end with the other. We're gonna do 10 shoulder pass throughs. So standing with your feet hip distance apart, hold on to either end of your strap and you're going to inhale as you lift the strap up above the head and then exhale as you allow the strap to come all the way down behind you. Inhale to lift back up to the top again Exhale as you allow it to come around to the front. We're going to do 10 of these in total, so go with your own breath in your own time, gently opening up the shoulders. You don't need to do this fast, take your time. If you find that this isn't challenging enough for you, try and shorten your gap between the holding points on your strap, so narrow your hands. And you're probably coming up to halfway now. So we've got five left to go. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Keep a hold of that strap now, bring it all the way through, complete that rep, and then bring it above your head. We're going to exhale as we drop the left hand all the way down to the side, pulling the right arm over so you're getting a nice stretch down the side of your rib cage, opening up your shoulder, opening up those ribs. Inhale back to centre, try and maintain length and height in your spine if you can, and then exhale, reach over to the other side. We're going to do five each side of these, so you might want to just shorten the strap slightly for these ones. Reaching over as you exhale, inhaling back to centre and exhaling to reach over. So the exhale is going to help you get further into that stretch. That's why we um, prompt to take the breaths when we do in yoga. Inhaling helps you to lift and find length within the body. So you've got two more to go. Lovely. Bring it back up to centre, release your hands from the strap and you can just chuck that strap to one side now so you won't need it again. We're going to come into a forward fold but with a little bit of a twist this time. So standing with your feet hip distance apart, lift to find length in your spine so you're lifting your body out of your pelvis. Take your hands behind you, interlace the fingers and clasp them behind your back. Pull the hands down so you're pulling the shoulders down away from your ears. You're going to take a nice deep breath in as you find length again, and then as you exhale, hinge forwards at the hips, holding that length in your spine and folding all the way over. Then bring your hands up behind you, pull them away from your back, reach towards the ceiling, and see if you can just open up those shoulders. You're going to be here for about three to five breaths. So just really reach and pull, squeeze those hands nice and tight, Try and get your chest towards your thighs. Let the crown of the head hold, hang towards the floor. And just hold here for another three, two, one. And release those hands to the floor. Slowly come down onto your hands and knees. We're gonna do five cat cows. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You're going to take your um, eye gaze up as you dip your stomach down to the, ceiling, uh, down to the floor. So, Dip your stomach and look up at the ceiling as you inhale, finding the cow position. And then as you exhale, round through the spine, slowly moving vertebrae by vertebrae, find the cat position, pressing through the floor, pulling the shoulder blades apart and dropping the head to look towards the knees. Inhale as you lift, coming all the way through to cow, nice and slowly. Really push that stomach down towards the floor, open up the chest open up the heart. Exhale, find cat again. Really push away from the floor, plunge through those shoulders, create space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, come all the way through. Think about your body moving like a wave, a gentle wave. 
and then exhale. Find that cat position. How angry can you make your cat? Inhale. Come all the way through. Really push that stomach towards the seat, it's a bit towards the floor. Open up that chest. Exhale. And then one last one either side. So inhale to dip. Taking the eye gaze all the way up, really reach this time for the final time. And then exhale as you come all the way back through. Finding that last angry cat position. Press through those shoulders and relax. You're going to cut, stay on your hands and knees. We're going to do thread the needle. So you're going to inhale as you lift your right hand up towards the ceiling and twist open, twist your body open to the right. Take your eye gaze up to your top fingertips, really reach with that hand. And then exhale as you thread the arm through and under your left armpit. And you can take your shoulder all the way to the floor. Take your eye gaze over to the left and even try and look under that left armpit. Inhale as you lift and reach. We're going to do five each side. Exhale, thread through. Inhale to lift. Exhale, thread. Really reach through under that arm. Inhale to lift. Exhale to thread. Keep reaching. Inhale, lift one more time. Exhale, thread. And then come back to your hands and knees. We're going to do the other side. So inhale, lifting the left hand this time up towards the ceiling and twisting the body to open towards the left side. Exhale as you thread that hand through and under your right arm, taking your eye gaze under your right armpit, trying to get your left shoulder towards the floor. Inhale as you lift and twist. Exhale to reach, threading the arm through. Inhale to lift and you guessed it, we're gonna do five again each side. So you're on number three. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. And then gently come back to your hands and knees. You can sit back on your knees this time. If you want to, you can sit um, just sitting on your heels. Or you can take your feet out to the side and do full hero pose, allowing your um, bum to gently sit, touching the floor in the space between your feet. So this is really good for opening up the quads and getting an ankle stretch in at the same time. If you feel any pain in your knees, simply just come back up and sit on your heels, wherever is comfortable for you. We're going to do five cactus arms. So I'm going to face this way so that you can see. We're going to inhale to lift the hands up above the head, so really reach up tall, and then spread the fingers, face the palms of the hands towards me, and then exhale as you bring the arms down at a 90 degree bend towards the side of the body, squeezing the shoulder blades back and holding, and then inhaling to lift. Exhale, squeeze. So you should feel a squeeze in the shoulder blades, but also you're stretching open the front of your chest. Inhale to lift, exhale to squeeze, we're going to do two more, inhale to lift, exhale squeeze, last one, inhale lift, exhale squeeze, and release. Come to a seated position, see if you can sit um, cross-legged, if um, you can, if not, you can just um, come to a kneeling position. Or if you wanted to, you can sit in half lotus while we do eagle arms. So wherever you're comfortable. So half lotus, you're bringing, so take the right foot under, left foot comes over the top and you're placing the sole of the foot facing up in your kind of hip crease there and just letting the knees kind of fall. So wherever you need to be, this is just going to help you get a stretch in the legs at the same time if you want to. We're going to take the um, right arm up and left arm under and you're going to cross them over at the elbows so at the elbow joint cross the arms over and then you're going to wrap them around each other and try and get your palms to touch if you can't get your palms to touch just grab wherever there's no stress wherever you end up try 
and bring your arms nice and straight out in front of you. This is option one, so option one you can stay here with your hero arms. If you want to take it further, inhale to lift the hands up above the head. And you should feel this in the outside of your rotator cuff on your right arm. And you're just going to take a couple of deep breaths. You might also find it across the back of your left shoulder as well slightly. But it's mostly going to be in your right arm. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release, and we're going to switch over. So right arm goes under left, cross at the elbows. Remember, wrap those arms. Find the palms together. Get comfortable in that posture if you can. And then when you're ready, inhale to lift. And again, just for three deep breaths. You should feel this now in your left shoulder. Last breath all the way in. And then exhale, release the arms, shake it out. We're gonna switch the legs over if you haven't already. So if you're just sitting cross-legged, switch them over. If you're kneeling, don't worry, don't move. If you're doing the half lotus, take the left leg under, right foot comes on top of the left um, thigh this time and sits in the hip crease, wherever it needs to be. We're going to simply do an arm stretch now. So we're going to take the right arm across the front of the body and hold it in the palm of the left hand against our chest. So use the left hand to pull the arm in against the chest and you're just getting a nice shoulder stretch down the front of the arm. Just for three deep breaths all the way in. Exhale all the way out. Second breath all the way in. Exhale all the way out. Last one, breathe all the way in. And exhale, release the arm, switch the arms over. So take the um, left arm across the chest this time, grab around the elbow with the right hand and press the arm in towards the chest. And again, just three deep breaths here. So inhale all the way in through your nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And release the arms. Unravel the legs. We're going to come up onto our hands and knees and then come down into a prone position on our stomachs. So take yourself flat on your stomach on the floor and we're going to take our arms out in a T-shaped position about 90 degrees to the body and try and bring your shoulders down towards the mat. Take your eye gaze forward. So the eye gaze can either be with your head face on the floor or I prefer to just rest on my chin looking straight forwards. We're going to inhale as we lift our right leg up high to the sky, bend at the knee and allow the leg to just drop over towards your left hand. Try and keep your left shoulder glued to the floor. And then with your right hand, come underneath the shoulder and press into the floor to help the body all the way over if you can. And feel that lovely stretch across the front of the chest, into the shoulder and down the arm slightly. This is scorpion pose or twisted um, front twist, a pro pronate front twist, whatever you want to call it. You're reaching over, you should feel this. Take two more deep breaths if you can. Really press into the floor to increase that stretch. Last breath all the way in. Exhale completely. And then inhale to lift the leg back up to centre. Exhale to release it. Take the right arm back out to the side, palms facing down. And then this time you're going to inhale as you lift the left leg up high to the sky. Bend at the knee, allow the leg to drop all the way over to the right side of the body. And then you can use the left hand underneath the left shoulder to press into the floor and push into that stretch. So now you should feel the stretch is transferred across to the right side of the body, across the right side of the chest, the shoulder, and maybe a little bit down into the arm. And again, we're here for about three to five breaths, so a little longer than the last couple of stretches. Probably got about two breaths left. Breathing all the way in through the nose. As you exhale, press into the floor. See if you can get deeper into that stretch. 
Last breath all the way in. And then inhale as you come all the way back up with the leg. Coming back to your prone position, plant the hands underneath your shoulders and press back to extended child's pose. So you should be coming towards the back of your mat. Arms stretched out in front of you. Sit back on your heels if you can. Reach out forwards with your hands and bring your forehead to the floor. If you're not sat on your heels completely, that's perfectly fine. You can just hover there. And just take three deep breaths. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Last one, all the way in. Exhale completely. 